Hi, today we are going to make the outline of all the different components of our paper skimmer. So the only materials we'll need is half of a manila folder very carefully cut at the bottom to ensure that you have a straight line at the bottom. You'll need a standard ruler, we're going to be measuring in inches, and a pencil of course. So first thing we need to take notice of is this curve at the top of this manila folder. We're not really interested in that part of it, so what we're going to do is start off by drawing a line straight across. So if you can see from the top corner of this curved part, I'm going to draw a line straight across the top, and all of this is going to be cut off and thrown out. So now we have a straight line at the top, and we have a straight cut at the bottom, and we have a nice rectangular piece of folder to work with. So the main body of the skimmer is 11 inches long by 4 inches wide. So what we're going to do is draw an 11 by 4 rectangle using this top line that we just drew at the top of our rectangle. In order to ensure a perfectly straight line going across, we're going to measure down the left hand side 4 inches and make a mark. We're also going to do that on the right hand side. Measure down four inches and make a mark. So we have two marks, four inches on the left, four inches on the right, and now we know if we connect those two dots, we will have a perfectly straight line four inches from the top line. So we have our four inch wide part, now we need to make it 11 inches long. So. On the bottom of this, we'll measure out to 11 inches and make a mark. We're going to do the same thing on the top, measure to 11 inches, and then we'll make our rectangle complete by connecting those two dots. This will be cut out and thrown away. So now we have our 11 by 4 rectangle which will make up the main body of our paper skimmer. Now this main body is not complete. It has two flaps that fold down on the top and the bottom and a flap that we cut out in the middle. The two top and the bottom and top and bottom parts are a half an inch long. So again we want to make a straight line. We measure on two sides and connect the dots. So from the top measure down a half an inch and make a dot. From the left side, measure down a half an inch and make a dot. Now we are going to fold on this line, so we're going to do a dotted line to make sure that we don't cut on it and we just fold it. So a nice dotted line to remind us this is a fold line. we need to repeat that process from the bottom. So on the right hand side we will measure up a half an inch. It's very important that this top and bottom line that they both measure half an inch because these will be the legs that the skimmer rides on and if they are uneven it will not skim accurately. It will turn, it might not even skim at all. That was supposed to be dotted. So, I can quickly fix that. The magic of the eraser. Again, we dot it so we know that we want to fold it. And there we have two dotted lines. 11 inches long, 4 inches down, a half inch on the top and the bottom, which means that there should be 3 inches from this dotted line to this dotted line and that's what we have. And make sure it's three inches on both sides, which it is, so now we have a nice rectangle. Okay, there's one more line we need to draw on the top part of this main body and that is a flap that we are going to cut and fold down and it's three inches from the left hand side. So we make a mark on the bottom at three inches we make a mark at the top that's three inches 
and we are going to fold this as well. So another dotted line, connect these two dots. And we have our main body complete. Now we're on to the next part, the fins. We actually have to draw two fins and they're gonna be identical. In order to do that, I wanna use some construction lines because they're gonna be three inches tall each. We're also gonna add the air scoop, which is also three inches tall. So if I make some guidelines across the bottom, three inches, then I don't have to worry about the height anymore. So I'm going to measure down a half an inch from the bottom of my main piece and a half inch on the right hand side. And I'm just going to draw a light construction line. Now that's a line that's not really part of anything. It's just there to guide me so I know I know what size I'm going to be drawing. From there I want to go three inches down. One, two, three and make a dot. On the right hand side three inches down as well. And I will then draw another construction line. And you'll see why in just a moment. It'll become very clear. A nice light line so anything I draw in between these two lines is going to be three inches tall and that's exactly what I want. So let's get on to the first fin. The first fin is three inches tall which we've already done. It goes over from the edge three inches so we can draw a line three inches we need to come up a half of an inch straight up so we have a three inch line and a half inch line now we want to come over from the top part a half of an inch also and then we draw our line so I have a half inch line and a half inch line and now I just want to connect those two the ends of those two lines Oop, I went a little too far. So I have what would be a 3x3 three three square, except I have the corner cut off. And that's going to be one of the fins. We now need to duplicate this right next to it. So we'll start by going straight up and down. This will be a 3 inch line, because we know they're 3 inches apart. Again, over here, we're going to come a half an inch over and draw our line. On the bottom, we're going to go three inches over, straight up a half of an inch, and then connect the ends of those two lines. So as you can see, we have two identical fins. Now on to our last piece, which will be the air scoop. Okay, the air scoop, let's start all the way from the right hand side. We have to make a few marks. First thing we're going to do is go in three eighths of an inch from the end. So measure one, one, two, three eighths of an inch and make a mark. From that mark, we're going to make another dot at three inches. So one, two, three inches from there. And then another mark at three eighths of an inch. So we should draw three dots in total. One three eighths of an inch, one three more inches, and then a third dot three eighths of an inch from that dot. From this first dot we drew, I want to go straight up to that construction line we drew. So straight up and down. We're also going to do that from this inside dot. Straight up and down. Okay. From this line we just drew, come to the left. It's only an eighth of an inch. It's a very small mark. So we're going to draw a line only an eighth of an inch, very short. 
okay, from the top line on the right side. We're going to move to the right just an eighth of an inch. Again, a really small line. And then we need to take from this end and connect it all the way down to the outside dot. So it should be on an angle. Okay, and now we need to do the same thing on the right, except we don't have a dot over here. Instead, we use the edge of the paper. So go from the end of this little tiny line you drew up top right down to the edge of the paper. Okay, and now all we do is close off this square. and close off the bottom and there you have it those are the four pieces we need to make our air skimmer this will be the main body our main body is up here these will be our fins And this is our air scoop. Okay, if you need any help, just rewatch the video. You can rewind it, you can pause it, you can replay the whole thing, you can fast forward to just specific parts. So draw at your own pace, and then we will build it together and we'll be skimming before you know it.